This is a song that I learned from my mother many, many years ago. I didn't ken for my mother got this song, but my mother had a great wealth of supernatural ballads anyway. This particular song is called Two Little Boys. Two little boys coming home from school and the evening coming home Said the one little boy to the other little boy Let us choose our own way home And one went home by the bowery green and the roar of the waterfall And the other went in the mountain track that led to the high castle wall. And the boy that went by the bowery green and the roar of the waterfall, for he whistled and sang as the day was long and he had no care at all. And his stepfather came up to his side, saying, Why do you walk alone? Come with me to the river's bank, and we'll catch the fish that swim. And they both went out to the river's bank for to catch the fish that swim. But murder was in the old man's heart as he looked in the deep dark land. And he's got young Donald by surprise, and he's bounded him foot and thigh. And he's cast him into the deep dark land. And over the waterfall high. And the boy that went be the mountain track stood at the high castle wall. And he saw ah, and he saw far, and he saw his brother far. And he's wept hard, and he's wept sad, and he's wept all in. And he vowed that he would have revenge before the day was dean. So he packed up herbs and the foxglove flowers and the heats of the brunted stools. And he's maxed it unto his stepfather's wine, and he's maxed it unto the gruel. And he's put the servants of and he served them all in. And before the evening it was dean, for the old man groaned in pain. A priest, a priest, young Hugh, he cries, for I fear that I'm going to die, that I might enter, confess my sins, for to enter the heaven, say hi. Young Hugh, he never moved a hand, nor fed, but he stood as cold as lead. And the old man mourned, and the old man groaned, till he fell at his feet a deed. A grave, a grave, young Hugh, he cries, for to cast my false iron. But bury my brother along, be my mother, for they are of noble kin. For justice has been carried it, and justice has been deen. But I am left an orphan boy, and I'll weep here oh, by my My mother, I said, that that was a song that went back to about the 12th century. And the reason she I give, because if you notice, he speaks about the monks, or the priest. He cries for the priest, 
because he maybe thinks he's going to die, but also because there was a priest with the people of hell, the antidote for poison, and a priest were well, the doctors and the physicians of the time. The priests were also the teachers that gave them all their learning. And this is one of the, the traits of the very ancient things you'll find. If you listen to that in, and listen to this story, again, just like Young Hugh, this, the song of Young Hugh, you have the same sort of feeling in it. Again, a Mind a Jew's Daughter song. That song is something about Young Hugh, the Jew's Daughter. I seem to, to feel the same period of time. And that's a very, very ancient ballad as well. And it's a, the story about the song is that this two wee laddies were sons of a great noble woman. And when her husband died, she had the two wee laddies. They were twins. She had two wee boys, but they were noble boys of royal kin. And she married another man, probably have been of high rank as well. But she died when the bairns were quite young. And it got to be that the mother, of course, had left all her wealth and all her possessions to her sons. But the father, the nobleman, the stepfather, was a person who would have sort of looked after everything they, they had until the time came. They became of an age when they be, could claim their own particular titles or whatever it was they had to claim. This man had sent them to the night school, the school for young knights. And the school they're speaking about, my mother said, was a school for training young knights. So they probably had been away to some other nobleman to learn the art of chivalry. And they were being treated, probably just like young squires, but they were training for knighthood. And it was this school they were coming back for, for the young noblemen. But the stepfather wanted to murder them. But he wanted to murder them in a boy that he wasn't, no suspicion would fall upon him. So one day he saw the two ladies coming home for this school. And it was an awful bony fine day. And the twelve laddies just thought that they would take different roads home at night and to see if I would be the first in home to their, to their end castle. But the stepfather had a plan that day. And one wee laddie went home by the river. He beguiled the wee laddie and told me he was taking him sort of fishing, can to see how this bony fish is a swim. And he bound the wee laddie, and he drowned him, and he went to a big waterfall. But the other laddie took the high road him, it went up by the mountain track. For he was standing, he saw his stepfather murder his twin brother. So he vowed that he would hear his vengeance. And obviously, this laddies had also been getting a tuition for the monks, for I'd been the people that taught them kind of their academics. But they must have also had a great knowledge of the herbs and and they must have had a knowledge of witchcraft as well. Because this lad it was left gathered certain herbs and he made a potion out of it that killed the old man. And then he there was no monk and I think him in time to give him the antidote. But he showed you that he saw the murder and he carried out the justice for it. This guy had two little boys and the school's never heard of it. And I recorded this to Peter Hall about ten years ago when I first came into the folk scene. The ear <coughs> is actually an old Scottish ear. The people associate this, associate this particular ear with an Irish tune. It's an old Scottish tune. My mother I tell this was an old Scottish tune. And again, it's got two little boys. Mm -hmm. 